All right, so this is going to be a long chit chat video. And yesterday I wasn't feeling well when I did the video, but when I watched my video last night, I can see that my earrings, it was slim. So at the end of this video, I'm going to turn that videotape around that way so you can see the post earrings that I did. All right, I hope you enjoy. We have so many topics to talk about, including tent camping, uh, what I'm up to, Phyllis Stiller earrings. So it's going to be a good one. All right, bye. Good morning. Mom Terry here, why don't you get a cup of nice coffee and we'll have a nice little breakfast meeting. I love having meetings, don't I? Yes, I do. Um, I wanted to put this out yesterday, but yesterday I was tied up getting stitches removed. Uh, we're going to talk about that. We're going to talk about the videos of the week. We're going to talk about all sorts of different tents. So if you have a vehicle and a tent, uh, I have so many years experience of living in buses, living in a Volkswagen bus, Priuses, everything, and I have a tent for all occasions. Uh, yeah, we're going to talk about everything coming up, but first up, I want to thank my viewers. Thank you guys. Thank you for leaving all the wonderful comments. You know, it's, you know, I don't get paid a lot, YouTube, okay? <laughs> it's like, there's a reason why people call it like screw tube. I, I don't like that word, but, um, you know, you make a bunch of videos. You might make $2 a day if you're lucky. Uh, most people don't make that much money. So uh, I am so grateful when you leave comments, uh, when you uh, mail me something like a little card. And I just got one from Memphis, Tennessee. I got Spirit Wind View. I got a couple more cards that I got to read. So we will be doing mail call. Uh, right now, well, I'll cross this off my list. Why don't you use the same address? I am going to change my address most definitely, probably to uh, San Diego, but I don't think I'm going to do that until after Christmas. Yeah, I don't think so. Why? Because um, I'm going to travel and keep going back and forth and Redlands is there. So I will be hitting up my uh, mailbox to go get my mail. I got a big package of mail yesterday. So thank you, everybody. All right. So thank you. Thank you for leaving comments. Thank you for uh, uh, sending mail. Oh my gosh, your mail means everything to me. Oh, wait a minute. I have an idea. I'm writing it down now. Okay. Now, whatever, uh, whatever uh, you believe in, I, I don't care. You know, I'm not one of those people that say, hmm, I'm a Christian. And if you're not a Christian and you don't believe in what I believe in, you know, well, I'm not like that. I don't know. I just have faith, you know. Um, I've lived with, I've walked with faith and everything. Um, and okay, this is my belief system. But what I was going to say, if you guys want to uh, mail Christmas cards to me, go ahead. Maybe we'll have a Christmas card off or something, that, or I'll hang all the cards uh, behind my wall. That would be so much fun. I already have my cabin in uh, Las Vegas. I'll be spending Christmas out there. I'll be tent camping actually on the base. And uh, I have a cabin for a week. As a lot of my viewers know, I do this every year. Or I rent a hotel room. Uh, it really is a nice Christmas. I decorate my hotel room. I may only have it for two or three days. Uh, we put up the decorations. I have uh, presents for Lucy. If you want to send Lucy a little Christmas present, she would love it. Uh, we could do something like that. Oh my gosh, I love this idea. I do. So uh, that's what I do for Christmas. Uh, this year I have my cabin. Last year I had my cabin and uh, Miss, Ka Miss Karen came in and visited me. My son and beautiful daughter-in-law visited me. We went to Meow Wolf. Karen and I saw an Elvis impersonator. I had a great time. That's my big splurge is Christmas. And then uh, coming up, I'm going to do my uh, once around, my really big trip once around the country. All right. So how am I feeling? Okay, the stitches came out yesterday. They were brutal. Just, ah, uh -huh. <laughs> well, they had to stay in an extra week. And what happens is on the string, well, you know, you get cells, you get more and more cells and then they have to pull them out. And it's like, that was not any fun. Uh -huh. But I lived, I lived. I still have the infection. So I have to go back in another week. Um, I am hoping to take off. Uh, I want to visit everybody this winter. I miss you all. Um, hopefully I'll get to Bullhead City. I want to do a lot of videos on how to casino camp out there, where I casino camp at. There's also Telephone, Telephone Cove. I love that place for camping. Uh, then there's Lake Havasu, lots of BLM land. Quartzsite, uh, oh my gosh, so many wonderful places that have BLM land or casinos that I love to camp at and uh, places I like to eat at. So. Uh, Hopefully next week, the doctor says my infection's gone. 
I, I'm, I'm like taking two showers a day, everybody, just to, you know, keep everything clean and everything so I can take off, like I said. All right, so next up, uh, the RTR is coming. The woman's RTR is coming. I think before the WRTR and maybe once or twice during the RTR, uh, we'll do some crafting RTRs. Now, what's that going to consist of? Well, I have a little two foot by four foot table. Some of my friends have tables uh, and this is what we do. Everybody should have their own chair. Um, you know, you're gonna want it if you attend the RTR, the WRTR, if you wanna get up close to where the, when they have a band or two playing, that's pretty cool. Um, or, you know, potlucks, you need, you need a chair to sit on. So you should have a chair, but I'm gonna bring uh, my die cut machine and my stamps uh, my punches, my dies and punches and everything, because a lot of people don't have the opportunity for that, but they are collecting cans or they're making uh, chips or uh, collecting chipboard. Uh, so this way, when we're there, you can just cut, 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 cut as much as your heart, you know, desires. And then when uh, you get home, you can assemble it. You know, you can paint them or at home in your RV. When you have free time to, uh, you know, paint, you know, I can show you how alcohol inks work, how to use the uh, glazes and everything. But, uh, and we'll probably do it two or three times. I got to get with uh, Marie over at RV Camper. Uh, <laughs> I'm so glad we made friends, uh, me and Marie. All right, so what's my next pair of earrings that I'm doing? Now, this is gonna shock you. Some of my earrings will shock you, but uh, they sell nonetheless. These are called Phyllis Diller earrings. Why would anybody want Phyllis Diller earrings? Um, I make all sorts of weird ones with googly eyes and everything. Why? Because uh, during Halloween time, you can go to Party City and maybe get something to match your Halloween costume. Like one year, my sister, uh, she went to a thrift store. She got a nice vintage dress. She got some go-go boots. She got the go-go wig. And the only thing that didn't go-go was a cool pair of earrings. This would have went spectacular with her costume. Uh, some people go on uh, cruises like disco cruises, stuff like that. Well, we're in, in uh, January, where are you going to find a pair of disco earrings at with little disco balls in? Right here. Earrings, earrings everywhere, right? Um, that's why it's not costume jewelry, but it's jewelry for costumes. So this one came along in like two to three minutes. It's so super duper easy to do. I got this material over at the dollar and a quarter tree when it was still the dollar tree. All right, then I want to show you some other pair of earrings that I've been working on. Let me hold it up against here. All right, so uh, remember when I went to, there's my coffee cup in the way. I got these, the, they're glass beads, the little pearls over at dollar and a quarter tree. And I, I can make like five pairs of earrings for a dollar and a quarter. That is so pretty. Now I often think of when I was a little girl for confirmation, uh, little pearl earrings for our confirmation. So that's one of them. And this one has silver spacers in between, and I get the silver spaces, spacers over at Michael's, uh, and they're called seed beads. This one's my most favorite one. It's the 15 seed beads, silver seed beads on one side, followed by a big pearl and 15 more seed beads. I like the way it looks like a little bit of wire that's been looped around without having to do the wire. And, last but, and the reason why they don't have fish hooks on is Okay, this is the last one. And that I use black spacer beads that I got over at Joann's. All right, so why didn't I put my fish hooks on these yet? Because what I'm going to do is these are hoops that open. Well, once you open it, they're gonna open it and open again. They're a little stubborn to open the first time, but once they're open, and I don't want someone to have a nice pair of earrings and this, the seeds, beads go everywhere. So this reminds me, I gotta glue it back in there so it does never come out again. And then, you know, I'll put a bunch of them together. And this is the glue I love, but I'm having a hard time finding it over at a, a dollar and a quarter tree, 99 cents. Notice it says gel, and I like the small little things. Uh, because the E6000, uh, it's not difficult to work with. Uh, it just gets too much air and everything. And this is disposable. I used to get these four for a dollar. Now they're probably two for a dollar because we have 8% inflation. But anyhow, I'll glue all these shut. And then once I glue all of them shut, uh, then I'll put on the fish hooks and then I'll glue the uh, jump ring uh, to uh, seal it real good. You can use... Uh, 
the uh, super the gel or you can use nail polish to seal the jump ring where the little things connect all right so phil is still our earrings like i said no one makes uh, jewelry for halloween costumes i do all right so what kind of videos are we doing this week this week it's all about tents uh tents tents and more tents boy it's going to be intense isn't it wait a minute coffee time all right, uh, I've been full time in for about six years and I've taken off the past four months. I've been living indoors, I admit that. But I started out with my Prius and I had a Habitant. I still have a Habitant. You know, if things work out well with me and boyfriend, we're gonna camp in separate vehicles and, uh, or we'll get a big RV. But uh, I would go back to a Prius and my Habitant. So I still have my tab Habitant in storage. I do have an easy up and usually I use the easy up just for day use um, or you know whether I'm doing art sales you know uh, craft fairs all right so for my van I have the tail veil I really like the tail veil and I'll show you that one in use and every one of these have different purposes I have the reactive tent why do I have a reactive tent I think it opens up in five seconds I had the reactive tent because sometimes you pull into a campground and they don't want you sleeping in your vehicle. So I just put a tent out there. Uh, easy breezy. I also have the clam. Why? Because I listen to Bob. I do like the clam. It is a really nice solid tent, but none of these uh, tents that I've described uh, would I use in quartzite uh, or I would put up for the day. Uh, you know, if you think of quartzite, some years it's like Saudi Arabia and uh, the winds will blow 50 to 60 miles per hour. And, uh, you know, I don't think a lot of these, the <laughs> reactor would blow and die <laughs> a sad death. It really would. I also lived in a bus, which we had the zipper room. That was sort of nice. So uh, if you have any questions about tents, uh, put it in the comments below. And hold on, I'm gonna switch this out real quick. This is just one of my displays. Uh, it's an old lampshade that I'll probably put a little tripod on. That'll be pretty cool, right? I'll think of something. I like the little wings. Earrings, earrings everywhere. That's uh, my uh, name. All right. Also, uh, if you guys have never taken a class called The Artist Way, I highly recommend it. I took the class like two years before I got divorced. It helped me. And uh, I think I took it three or four times after I got the divorce. Um, so the artist way it's a 12 week class and it's a journey into healing you know it brings up all these things and uh, it really helps now I wanted to show you some crafts that I've done you know all right this one when I was living in my Prius this is one of my paintings and I just had it framed and uh, that is Lake O'Neill out at Camp Pendleton so uh, yeah that one's a pretty good one I like that one and I just brought that down to keep in my room and before that, before I was living in my Prius, I was living in a shelter in Los Angeles, U.S. Vets. And during the day, we had recreational therapy, which I loved. You had a choice between woodworking or a lapidary. Lapidary means you're working with precious metals and gems to make jewelry. And uh, I chose woodworking, and I thought I'd show you a couple of the bracelets I've made. And this is out of a piece of wood, and I burned all this stuff in, so... That was pretty cool. I, you know, the guy, my Eldon, the instructor, he'd say, man, you make the weirdest thing. This is my UFO little bracelet. So yes, I do. And then I was really big into pen turning. Oh, wait, that's a Beck. I'm <laughs> just kidding, guys. But uh, again, with the burnt wood, that's one of my pens, and that one's acrylic. Acrylic orange, and I must have like a hundred pens and a hundred bracelets in storage. And I used to make these little prayer bowls. Now, this one I actually airbrushed the wood, that was a lot of fun. And wait a minute, let's see if I can get this one open. I don't know if I can. There we go. This one it's called segmented wood. That was a pleasure to turn. I hope you guys are getting that. But uh, yeah, I spent two years uh, at the hospital nine hours a day doing all sorts of therapy it was a long time and uh so grateful for it i really am all right so i thought i'd let you know what's up what's up next is comment call and i want to get back to putting your names all across it because i really do appreciate all you guys you guys are wonderful 
um, you know, we don't know what the future holds, do we? Um, hopefully I do get out there camping. All right, I hope to see you all down the road. Bye. So much fun. These were just a puppy sticker that I glued googly eyes on. This says number one mom with a little dog paw print. This is really a nice shiny golden seashell that I just uh, glued up close to. Uh, some of my favorite. Uh, this is a sticker, a puppy sticker. Oh, remember a few years ago these uh, dragon's eyes were going over big. This is another puppy sticker. Love Greece. And uh, this is abalone shell sliced real thin. This is just something that I found that I stuck a post to and I came in with my alcohol ink. I love this little record. That's pretty cool. I like it for today. Again, we have a sticker. So that was a thicker a sticker. Okay, this is a smiley face with no googly eyes. Uh, this was for a miniature dollhouse and Oreo cookie. This was a button that I uh, chomped off the back of the little knob. And some of these I do nail polish for. Okay, this is over at Hobby Lobby. I just put on a couple of little gem beads right there. Those are zippers that I put a gem bead on. This was just a little candy cane and swirly sticker. But this comes out really nice. Let's see what else do I have here? I have seashells. And uh, more zippers and zi more zippers and Canada, yay! Oh, Canada! But all sorts of neat little things that I glue together.